Backlash, how to measure it, and then how to fix it in Mach 3. Welcome to another... another <laughs> Here's a uh, close-up of one of the posts that's in the mold, and you can see that this right here, let's see if I can get underneath the camera. I have the camera really close. So right there, that's what we're looking at, and you can see it's not quite circular, and it should be. Let's take a look at the other one, and you can see that this is also not quite circular. The reason both of these are not circular is because of backlash, and I'm going to show you how I take care of that. This is the setup I'm using to set the or to measure the backlash on my mill. You can see that I have a, a Noga uh, arm. I'm not sure what they call this, and then I have a uh, a dial indicator. So I'm going to move the this over until it's part way in here, and then I'll set that to zero. Let me go ahead and do that with my jog wheel. Okay, that should be a good position. I'll set this to zero. And, well, that's pretty good. In the past, it didn't come out to quite zero, but uh, this little knob here allows you to make uh, tiny adjustments to it so that you can zero into really close to zero. There you go. And that way you can get it, oops, it's not zero. It's really sensitive. Okay, so now it's zero. And then I'm going to go to Mach 3 and uh, set all of the DROs to zero. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to move back to the right, which is the direction I originally came from, and then press the go to zero button. That should bring it back to uh, zero. It's almost zero, so I'll adjust it just a tiny bit. And you can see this is, uh, takes a really light touch. Okay, I'll do that one more time just to make sure everything's okay. Press go to zero again. Okay, so I'm within uh, the uh, accuracy of this meter, which is plus or minus five tenths. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the left. So when I go to the left and then come back to the right, that will give me my backlash, which you can see here is 4,000. So I'll do that again to see how repeatable that is. Okay, so four, four and a half. Go to the right, a little bit more this time. So it's, uh, I'll call it four and a half thousandths. Once I know that number, I go to Mach 3 and enter it in Mach 3. 0.0045. And uh, enable backlash. And one of the things that's required is you have to quit and restart Mach 3. All right, let me zero everything again. And uh, let me go ahead to the right. Go to zero. Okay, now it's at 4,000, so that's actually good because we came from the other direction. So let's get this as close to zero as I can. I'd say that's pretty good. Oop, it moved. And let's go back the other way and see how we did. Okay, so you can see now I can go either way, press go to zero, and it comes back to basically the same place. That means I've got it dialed in. I've taken care of the backlash. I'll do that for the other axes as well, and then this time when I mill the next uh, mold, uh, it should come out with perfect circles.